Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're gonna address a, a VW code P0016 uh, crankshaft position, cam, camshaft position correlation bank one sensor A. All right, so now this code is a very popular code and it's a very pain in the neck code. Uh, what happens is you, ha you crank your car, it cranks excessively. Uh, like and then it decides to start or sometimes it doesn't start at all and you have check engine light you have the EPC light on uh, sometimes the car can't even you know make it under its own power and that code a lot of people think it's related let me take this off to the cam shifts cam sensor here or the crank shifts crank sensor down there, and 99% of the times it's not. Okay, those things rarely ever go bad. That's not saying that they don't, but they rarely ever go bad. And most of the times, let's say if you got oil in here, like they crack from inside, the oil pumps into them and shorts them out. That's probably the only time. They're, it's basically a little magnet in there, you know, and they just don't go bad. But they change them, mechanics change them, because they're trying to make money on you. Knowing that, well, I don't know what they know. But anyway, I'm here to help you guys out. So, and other codes you can get is a 340, P0341, which is uh, the camshaft sensor circuit, which is here. Now, you have to understand, it's a computer. It only knows what it's programmed. It's not, it's not a person. It's not alive. So, you know, just because it's saying that, I mean, you can have a mass airflow code, and it's the air filter. See what I'm saying? It doesn't know. It's, it's just a computer program to do certain things and tell you when something is wrong in that circuit. All right, so you get that 341 code. It's not probably, I have a video on that and it's probably not this sensor at all anyway. It's probably the timing because on certain vehicles, on certain models, when you see them hundreds of times, you get an idea, okay, these are the things that are going wrong with them. So back to this one, this is the P0016. Was it the 1-6? Uh, yeah, the one six. All right, so what it's gonna probably be, I mean, if you have a scan tool and a scope, you can hook it up, spend two hours and come to the same conclusion that I used to do when, I, when these cars were brand new. You know, you didn't have any um, information available. So what it's probably gonna be is over here, you have the solenoid that controls the variable valve timing, okay? You're going to have to take this plug off. Make sure there's no oil in there. All right. There's three T30, Torx 30 screws. One in here, one, two, and one on the bottom. You take this off, right? Now, you see that? Make sure that this pin comes out. When this has electro uh, electricity to it, it comes out. And when the computer wants the cam to adjust a little bit, it will. So now, let's get back to the reason why, oh, and you can have major misfires and everything like that. And you can think it's fuel related. I see a lot of things on this engine replaced unnecessarily. I, I already, this came into the shop because the other mechanic gave up. Meantime, he gave up, but he charged. Anyway, um, the reason why you have a misfire codes and, and drivability codes is because that crankshaft, the uh, camshaft is not where it's supposed to be when you start it. So the valves can be a little bit open when they're not supposed to be. So when you crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, eventually it'll catch and run, all right? But it's gonna run crappy. And the reason why is because there's a solenoid in here, I mean a little oil control valve. Now, as we can see with this one, you see it's right here? You need a special tool to take it out. You can go on Amazon, it looks like this. Some of them have these uh, two um, pins in different locations. They have a kit. You can look on, on, on the um, Amazon and you can find them. This one don't even have a, a number on it. It's a cheap one, but if they, they do the job. You don't need a snap on one. You just need a regular cheap $30 one. All right, here's another one. This one also just failed on another car. This is not supposed to be out like this. This is supposed to be flush, something like this. All right, and then the solenoid, which I showed you, that little pin, when the computer wants, right, it should be like this, then it pushes it more, 
and there's and it diverts the oil in the camshaft to control the timing. Advanced or retarded. All right. When this is broken like this, and look in here, this one's broken too. Okay, that's supposed to be in. All right. They fail like crazy. Okay. And for your specific model, they probably they have one that covers I think from 2009. The 2018, there's different ones, there's newer ones that have a filter in here, but I would get the one that came out of your car. But like I looked on um, the VW site and it's showing the newer style that has a filter in this area. It has instead of, uh, uh, you know, it has holes instead of um, this design with one, two, three, four bands like that. It has like holes. Um, it says that they're all compatible. So if you want to use that, I'll give you the, the, um, the, um, for these engines, I'll give you the uh, model number, part number, I mean, for that. And you can, you know, just look online and get it. It's good to get a uh, OEM one. They're about four, about $80. I mean, you can get a cheap one, but you know, if you get stuck on the road, th that's bad because you, you will get stuck. The newer one, the, uh, OEM ones are better. Okay. So now um you to take it out you're going to need this tool and how it goes is it's when you're usually righty tighty well right's going to loosen it okay it has reverse threads and then when you tighten it you're going to tighten it to the left so that's how you take it out it's going to be like this you put the new one in you tighten it to the left and you tighten it down 15 foot pounds of torque Okay, then you reinstall this. Okay, hook up the um, electrical cable. If you don't have a scan tool, disconnect the battery. Negative side of the battery. Five minutes, put it back on, start the car. It may go pop, 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 and then start, right? Let it idle for about five minutes, shut it off. Start it again, it should go pop, pop, and start right up. Okay, and that'll be your problem fixed. And it's not, it's not the fuel. It's not, look at all these coils, they, they replace coils. You know, they don't know what they're doing. Play some coils. Um, I see a new fuel pump over there. Um, all crazy things. And if you don't know about these cars, that, that's the route you're gonna take. But anyway, that's how you fix that code. It's the, the P0016 and you should be good to go. It'll be good to have a scan tool so you can erase all the codes. Uh, like that P0341 I told you about earlier, that should disappear because that's also valve train related. And that was probably why that, that um, code came up. The EPC code inside, they all should disappear because this is a big issue. When, when that, when that um, oil control valve fails, it causes a lot of um, confusion for the computer and it could throw all those types of codes. So it's good to just clear them out after you've fixed the job. All right, guys, motor car and up. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to help everybody out. I save you some money. I'd appreciate a super thanks or support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.